Let's uh, go back live to our correspondent, Ivor Bennett, who is in Tokyo for us. Now, Ivor, uh, can you just bring us the latest on this uh, worrying development with the uh, nuclear power plant? Well, the latest that I'm hearing is that they're not entirely sure what the cause of this white smoke we're seeing rising from the plant. The, the image is being shown on Japanese TV right now. Government spokesman has said that they're not entirely sure it was caused by an explosion, but the worry is that uh, one of the, or two of the reactors even, out of the five at this plant in Fukushima, around 160 miles north of uh, Tokyo, uh, the worry is that they're going into meltdown because they've lost uh, the, uh, the ability to cool down radioactive materials. That the earthquake uh, yesterday has knocked out the cooling system there and also just hearing a report from a government official there as well that one of the reactors in that plant has actually uh, had atomic material seeping out from it, which is a major concern, obviously. And now uh, five other reactors uh, are also under a state of emergency. Again, worries over the cooling systems there. Well, should there be um, a nuclear disaster there, what, what, what could the consequences be? What, what has been the reaction? Uh, how, how are they gauging the possible consequences of what's currently unfolding? Well, the consequences are obviously a massive nuclear fallout. And we're hearing already on the wires at uh, Associated Press that radioactive levels in that area around Fukushima Daiichi, that nuclear power plant where there has been a, a suspected or unconfirmed reports of, a, of an explosion, their radioactive levels there are, have risen a thousand times above normal. Now, on the streets here in Tokyo, I haven't been here long, but people seem unperturbed that I've spoken to, at least, and that was on the train from the airport. Uh, people were more worried about getting to their destinations here on the street. No one's around, so either people have fled the city or they're simply staying indoors but at the moment it seems that uh, it's the central part of the Pacific uncertainty Coast really uh, about what's happening and I'm reading on Twitter as well that people in the north of Japan simply don't really know what's going on they know people in Tokyo are worried they aren't hearing themselves uh, what the situation is okay well thank you very much for that update uh, Ivor Bennett in Tokyo there for us